song of fatherhood says very special to me um, because it draws on my own experiences with my boys so there's a there's a lot of and with my father so there's a lot of there's a lot of me in there That's composer David V. Montoya speaking about his choral cycle, Songs of Fatherhood, which we're hearing in the background right now. Welcome to a special edition of WGTE in Concert, our weekly broadcast of music made in the FM 91 listening area by local musicians and visiting artists. I'm your host, Brad Cresswell. Tonight we hear works from two living composers, both of whom join us for the broadcast, The University of Toledo chamber singers perform Joshua Shank's Color Madrigals. And later on in the program, we hear that Songs of Fatherhood by David V. Montoya from the chamber choir, Whatever and Ever, Amen. Both performances are led by Dr. Bradley Pearson, who is Director of Choral Activities at the University of Toledo. In that capacity, he leads the UT chamber singers, who perform our first work tonight. Uh, the University of Toledo Chamber Singers is uh, an audition group primarily made up of music majors, um, but is open to students across campus. We meet five days a week, most weeks, uh, for 50 minutes a day. Um, that's the group that tours and, and does recording sessions and is um, kind of the premier group on campus. Uh, they're awfully busy and a great group of young people. This year we had actually nine new members in the group. So it was a rather uh, young group, uh, but a really exciting group to work with. And and, uh, we were so happy to be working on this piece of Josh Shanks. And um, uh, unfortunately, we didn't have more opportunities to perform it. The piece Brad is talking about is by composer Joshua Shank, who is based in Washington State and has written for a number of well-known choral organizations. It's called Color Madrigals, and it uses text by the English poet John Keats. Brad Pearson says that he's programmed quite a bit of Joshua's music over the years. And these pieces uh, have always been ones that I wanted to perform. He approaches harmony in a way that uh, sounds much more complicated than it is. And that is to say that it's, you know, mostly major chords, but just adds lots and lots of texture uh, and it tends to build throughout the music. So I think that it's really accessible to an audience, but also to singers. And it feels really fun to sing. It feels good in the voice. Um, and that was something that this group, uh, I thought, needed uh, as a balance to some of their other music. And so we were just really excited to perform this music. And then we actually got to um, talk with uh, Josh over a Zoom call. And he told us a little bit about the music and um that the pieces had not really all been conceived originally, as I said, he didn't plan to write six pieces of music, but um, we were kind of fascinated to learn how uh, he put them together and how he thought about these colors and um, different uh, textures and sounds that he could put together to represent the colors of this uh, John Keats poetry. Joshua Shank wrote color madrigals over the course of a year, combining songs that were commissioned by two separate choirs. He says that the original intent was to write something about spring and love, which put him in mind of the poetry of John Keats. I happened to mention the word green, which, you know, when we think of spring and the, the greening of the earth, it seemed, um, you know, apropos. So uh, that piece I, I wrote, and then it was only like, you know, three minutes long. So I asked the conductor, can I write another one um, to go with it in a set? And so um, since I had written the green piece, I thought, what if I try to find another um, piece that has a color? So I, I read and I found one, and I wrote this other piece called Serpents in Red Roses Kissing, which uh, opens the whole piece with sort of a fanfare. <laughs> So 
from that opening red madrigal, it moves into a, a blue madrigal, and um, it's called Blue, Tis the Life of Heaven. And of all of the movements of this piece, this te original text is the only one written about the actual color. Keats sort of captures blue in the natural world and all of its forms, and he brings the poem um, from the heavens uh, to the ocean and finally back to, to the earth. Um, and because of this, that poetry becomes more and more intimate as it progresses. And so I wrote this kind of gradually expanding hymn, um, kind of in a variation uh, technique as a sense of reverence. The other color-themed texts use purple, inspired by the color of wine, signifying the feeling of heartbreak and drowning one's sorrows. We also hear yellow in a frenzied poem about mythological satyrs and orange, the only time that Keats actually uses that word in his poetry. Luckily, uh, Keats takes on this traditional theme with uh, this amazing poetic language and um, uh, the, very famously, the epitaph on Keats's grave uh, is, uh, here lies one whose name is writ on water. Uh, so he was really, really highly regarded. Uh, so that's uh, the color madrigals. Um, it's a six movement uh, piece that I wrote in 2007. And uh, you'll hear the choir perform it. Um, it doesn't get performed in its entirety um, that often because it's um, a larger work. Um, so this was a rare opportunity for audiences and uh, myself to hear this uh, wonderful artistry. From a phone conversation I recently had with composer Joshua Shank, talking about his choral song cycle, Color Madrigals, a setting of poems by the English romantic poet John Keats. Let's hear it now in a performance from the University of Toledo Chamber Singers, conducted by Dr. Brad Pearson on WGTE In Concert. Welcome to
the University of Toledo Chamber Singers, directed by Dr. Brad Pearson, we heard Color Madrigals by composer Joshua Shank. That's the first half of our program. After a short break, we'll be back with another one of Brad Pearson's groups, the Choral Project, Whatever and Ever, Amen. I'm Brad Cresswell, and you're listening to WGTE in Concert on Public Radio FM 91, WGTE-FM Toledo. (laughs) 